Okay, good afternoon. This is the relationship reading. As usual, I do this for the highest good, highest healing, those who need to hear the messages the most, take what resonates, leave what does not resonate. Um, you know, the energy is fluid, so it can be past, present, future. You always are able to change the outcome of these situations. Um, so yeah, we all have feminine masculine, so if I say he or she, take it how it applies. But there's something here with this relationship that has to do with parents. Okay, so I don't know if it's your parents, your partner's parents, or maybe you guys are parents. But there's something here that's like uh, that's that's not being spoken about or not being said. Um, and for some of you, it's <sighs> okay. So maybe there's something happening here where maybe somebody's pregnant and they're going to be a parent and they haven't said anything about this yet. But there's uh, okay. All right, um, this isn't for everybody and I don't even want to read this right now because I hate the shit. I hate the shit. So what I'm about to say is probably gonna fuck somebody's head up and I'm sorry for that in advance, but this is what's coming out and I don't have a choice. So whew, all right. Again, this is not for everybody, and help me, Lord. So there may be somebody here who is being abused or molested, or there is a child that's being abused, okay, and it's sexually abused. Um, you know, and it maybe it happened before when you were younger and you never spoke about it, or maybe it's happening now to somebody but this is something that is um it's happening and nobody's speaking about it you know and whatever it is it's like this is gonna come out and i'm not sure when it's gonna come to light they're just saying you know whenever spirit brings it to light but whatever it is it's this affected this child or this person so much so that it's like um maybe it caused them to not want to interact with the same sex or to go after the opposite sex so if they were molested by let's say if it was a male molested by a father figure maybe it caused them to be attracted to masculine energies and if it was a female who did it to a male you know maybe it just turned them off to that type of energy whatever it is it's like caused this person to go towards the opposite of what they would normally have been um, attracted to you know and I don't have words for this because it's it's no like don't don't take advantage of kids don't do this to kids don't just fucking don't they're children they're innocent they don't deserve this you know you're taking a child's innocence you're taking their livelihood because that's what the fuck you feel like doing or because you have the power to do it and that's not okay um like I said, that's not for everybody, but for whoever that is, I have to get out of this because I can't, I can't deal. I can't deal with this. Um, no. So, okay. So again, like I said, if this is something current, you know, please intervene if you know about this. Call for help. I don't give a fuck if they threaten your whole fucking existence, your whole family. Get help because nine out of ten times these people ain't gonna do shit. Um... I'm sorry. So if this is not your situation, you know, if this is something that happened to you before in the past, this is coming up for healing, okay? This is like a deep soul wound that somebody carries and this needs to be released. So if you were molested as a child, and I, I really feel like it was same sex. So if it was male, male, or female, female, it was somebody was molested by someone of the same sex. And it's like a deep wound that they carry. And this is something that has probably drained them for their whole fucking existence. And it makes it hard for them to express themselves emotionally or romantically or even be able to have a serious romantic um, connection, okay? And maybe the parents knew about this and they tried to hide it or sweep it under the rug where they never spoke about it. But whatever all of this is it's very shitty and you know it is a process it is a process to be able to accept that it happened it's a process to be able to 
confront the person if you need to confront the person a process to confront your parents for not fucking doing anything about it all of this is a fucking process and it takes time it takes time for you to realize that it wasn't your fault it takes time for you to acknowledge that and understand that your voice does matter just because somebody chose to ignore it doesn't mean that it doesn't fucking matter it matters so just because your parents didn't do shit go to somebody else speak to somebody else say something to somebody else that gives a fuck um whatever this is and like i said if this is something that you've been through already and it's passed from however long if your parents are still alive have that fucking conversation because you're it's it's gonna be hard to find peace have the conversation say what the fuck you need to say okay you have to get this off your chest you have to let this out because like I said, everything is going to happen. Everything is going to come about when it's meant to happen. But the, this this needs to be released, okay? Because it's like this is sucking the fucking life out of you. And it's stopping you from living your life to the fullest. Alright? So like I said, this is a lot of cleansing that needs to take place in regards to this situation. And <laughs> for this, this, this individual is probably a healer, okay? So whatever it is, it's like you may have gone through this and... As shitty as it is, it's so that you, you'll probably be able to help other people that are in this situation or that have gone through this. All right. So again, like I said, this is not for everybody, but Jesus help me. Um, whatever that is, it's like there was, there's always lessons in all the things that we go through. And I know it sounds terrible to say that, but it's like, sometimes that's how it's like we go through the pain and it helps us to find ourselves It help us to understand what happened, how it happened and then confront our demons. That's it, it's just confronting our demons. Um, <clears throat> so there's somebody here that might be actually coming to an understanding, you know, and probably learning to understand their feelings and understand what it is to have actual feelings towards someone and it not be tainted by their past or the things that they've already been through. You know, and like I said, it just takes some type of understanding because it's like there's some type, there's unconditional love that's being presented here. So if someone told you that they loved you or they had feelings for you and it was something that you haven't been able to act upon because of what's happened before, like it's been keeping you stuck in this place, it's important for you to see, you know, like gain a different, um, a different perspective, okay? So you're probably able to see a different perspective now that you are finding healing or you're coming out of this and finding healing. Hi, Aknel. How are you? Um, and for some of the energy that's coming out is a fire sign. So it's Leo, Leo Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, and again, it could be you. It could be the other person. However, that's resonating for you. But there is some form of regret attached to this situation because it looks like somebody settled. All right, so maybe somebody walked away from the unconditional love or went towards something else that um, maybe they just went towards another relationship or settled with another person or whatever because they didn't have to be who they were. It was They were okay with allowing them to wear this mask and be something other than who they truly are. Okay, because here they're showing me that this energy, this um, either you or the other person, somebody in this relationship feels alone. Okay, and that's probably the worst kind of feeling alone because you have a whole person, a whole fucking partner next to you. So there's, you shouldn't be alone at any point in time. You shouldn't feel lonely because you have someone. But sometimes when we settle for people that we know are not serving us or we know that don't fulfill us, we feel alone because we know our needs are not being met. So our soul is calling, you know, our soul's calling for change. Our soul's calling for us to take action towards what's fulfilling for us, towards our path. And if you ignore that, that's when people tend to go into these deep depressions, you know, and they isolate themselves and even become suicidal because you're taking, it's like you're going to an extent of you're hurting yourself. That's what you're doing. You're hurting yourself because you're not doing what your soul is calling you to do. All right. You know, and like I said, I've done a, this, a lot of this shit I resonate with a lot. So it's one of those things for me where... I speak because I know what the fuck this feels like. I know what it is to be so fucking broken that 
I don't give a fuck about life. I don't even know. I was like, why am I here? Like, that is a deep fucking pain to not want to get out of bed, to not want to take care of your fucking kid. Like, that is a terrible fucking pain. And nobody understands because they don't go through it. So when you're in bed and you don't want to get up, you don't want to cook, you don't want to fucking function, they're just, oh, you're lazy. And it's like, no, I just don't give a fuck about your life, my life, anybody's fucking life. I don't care. You know, it's a terrible energy, so... If your friends, family, whoever it is, has this type of thing going on, check in on them, you know, take them to therapy, even if you have to fucking drive them, take them to see somebody, to talk to someone, to get out of this, because the last thing you want is somebody to hurt themselves because they feel they didn't have anyone to talk to, okay? Now, this relationship that this person's settling for or regrets being in, you know, it's like they're on and off about, do I leave it, do I not leave it, do I leave it, do I not leave it? And some of you may actually be, yeah, that's okay. So that's, what they just, they're just confirming that they're debating on whether they're going to go or not because it looks like somebody might be living a double life. So if it's the person that feels lonely, maybe they're seeing somebody else outside of the relationship to get that fulfillment and that's where the double life is coming from and maybe they're going to see this person or go on vacation or something with this other person you know and this isn't for everyone however the messages come out is just that's how i read them but it's like <sighs> this person with the the their partner their main partner doesn't listen to them it's like this person can talk and talk and talk and express and express and express and say I don't want this or I don't want to be here or I'm tired of this what it's like whatever you're expressing it's like it goes in one ear and out the fucking other ear and all they hear is what they want to hear and if it doesn't align with what they want then it's irrelevant it doesn't fucking matter it's like just psh, you never had the conversation like talking to a fucking wall it's like that okay so whatever this is you know if um like I said if you're I don't, like, what the fuck do you expect from people? What do you expect? If you're not fulfilling their needs, you're, they're expressing that they're not happy, what do you think? They're just going to stay in the same fucking situation? They're not going to go outside of the relationship? Like, I, 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 don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Um, so, whatever this is, it's like, maybe this person, like, is learning to kind of step outside of themselves is learning to love themselves learning to get out of this energy you know and maybe learning to be a little bit more social and trying not to feel so lonely and not live in this fucking the shell of a fucking human that they're living in right now so you know maybe they're starting to communicate more with people talk to more people on the phone you know um actually um what's the word i'm looking for like calling in their tribe, making soul connections, making friendships, like, you know, building with other people besides only having that other person or only dependent on that individual. Okay, so it's like they're coming, whatever all of that, the beginning shit was, it's like they're, they're learning, they're growing and they're learning and they're healing from that experience and going into who they truly are. Hey, Julia, how are you? So, yeah, because before it looks like they were just, maybe they're afraid of change or they're like, they're just, it's like they're maintaining this relationship for appearances and it looks like they're afraid to change it for whatever purpose, for whatever reason, you know, whatever, you know, if somebody's holding something over their head, that could be embarrassing to them. Or again, people sometimes just don't have the courage, they don't have the confidence to take action towards what it is they need to do. You know, and again, that comes with time because at some point you're going to get tired. At some point you're going to be like, you know what? Enough's enough. There ain't shit in this fucking world that you're going to tell me or you're going to do to me that's going to stop me from leaving. You know, and when that happens, believe me, you'll you'll be you'll be the freest you've ever felt in your whole fucking existence. But it's like that has to happen, okay? And that Okay. So, and again, humanitarian <laughs> Did I just say that? I feel like I just said this. So for the feminine reading, there was a humanitarian. For this reading as well, there's a humanitarian and maybe it is the feminine energy. And maybe she's meant to help people or speak to people or help people through the shit that they've been through or are currently going through. You know, some type of healing. Um, I'm sorry, that was just... <laughs> they just take me off path sometimes. Um, 
So whatever it is, when this um, energy makes this change, when this person decides to walk away, it's gonna you're gonna go straight into union. You know, you're gonna go towards your person, and it's showing again. They're showing me the feminine energy. So this feminine energy has to make this change, or the masculine, you know, however it resonates for you, but they're showing me that there is going to be union with the divine feminine. So if this was a masculine that went through something like this, you know, don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed about your past. Don't be, just don't, you know, we've all had our share of shit. We all have our fucking skeletons in the closet that we don't like to talk about. But understand, they only have power because you are giving it power. If you acknowledge it and you accept that shit, they hold no more power over you because you're like, yes, it happened. You know, however the situation was, whatever the fucking dynamic, yes, it happened. And that's it. It happened and I'm done with it and I'm moving forward, okay? Fuck what anybody's gonna say. Fuck what anybody's gonna think. It doesn't matter. As long as you're accountable for your shit and you're taking responsibility and you're just like, you know what? I accept this shit as part of my life, as part of my story, because it doesn't define you. It's a moment in time that happened. That's it. Don't allow this to consume your whole fucking existence. But there's, um, it's like... When this person goes towards their uh, partner, their divine partner, it's like it's going to happen quick. Like it's going to happen really quick. And for you guys, you might feel like this is your perfect person. Like maybe personality, looks, whatever it is that in your mind you've created that this perfect individual, maybe this person fulfills all of that for you. And they're showing like it's going to be something that's very rushed. Okay, it's going to come in really quickly. And they're saying this is like you've already met this person. So again, this might be someone from your past, someone from childhood. It's someone you've already been with that's going to be, it's, it's like you guys are reconciling. They're coming right back to you. But this situation, whatever the fuck the situation is, it's like something needs to be cleared out here. You need to release and walk away from whatever's not serving you. And again, there's somebody here that's like trying to impress. So if you're in a relationship with somebody and maybe they're embellishing different parts of their life or maybe somebody's coming in that's making you feel like they're the perfect person but they might not be being completely honest about themselves or what they have going on you know and maybe it's because they feel um okay so somebody might be coming off as they're a whole nother person or they have all of this going on because they feel like maybe they don't have what you, you want or they feel desperate and there's some type of desperation to this like they don't want you to go so maybe because they don't want the relationship to end they're gonna do any and everything to try to keep you to stay to get you to stay in this relationship okay so that's one way of this message the other way is if you're coming on too strong to somebody you know maybe just dial it back a little bit because it's like um you know sometimes people don't know how to accept that like if you're honest and you're like you know what i have these feelings i love you i want to be with you some people run for the fucking hills as soon as they hear i love you and it's just like oh shit even if they feel the same way some people are not ready to acknowledge that or admit that or make that type of commitment okay so sometimes you know, you have to walk away, you have to let things be what they are, and just, you know, just allow life to happen. But whatever this is, is just, because like I said, the situation feels very rushed. Like, it, it seems like it's your person, that's what's coming in, but it's like, it's going to feel fast. So, just pace yourself. That's the word, pace yourself. <laughs> okay, because it's, again, this person struggles with self-worth issues. Okay, that's that's really what it is. It's like this person struggles with self-worth worth issues and maybe they didn't feel like they got enough love or they never got enough attention or their parents never told them they were special or they were important or they mattered or the list goes on. You know what it is for you, but whatever it is, you know, we are all unique and we are all beautiful beings. Whether or not someone tells you or validates you, it you know, you have to find that within yourself. You have to find your self-worth. You have to find your self-love. You have to be able to say, you know what, I am special because I am me. Nobody else can be me. Nobody else can be you. Okay, there is only one you. There is only one me. 
So in that respect, yes, you are a special person. And what you bring to the table is your character, your heart, your soul, who you are as a person, not the exterior. The exterior ain't shit. It's the interior. What do you bring to the table? What do you bring to this world? Okay, because we're all special. So don't feel like you need to be extra or beg or, you know, negotiate with people for affection or for love. Like, you are who the fuck you are. And hold that shit. Like, if they don't appreciate you, they don't want you, believe me, somebody else fucking will. Just because one person doesn't see your worth or your value doesn't mean somebody else will not. So fuck it just let that shit rock let it be what it is don't sit there clinging and begging and holding on to people because that makes you desperate that makes you look like you can't have anybody else and that's not true i believe there's somebody for everybody so maybe they're just not the right person and maybe it's not the right time so allow people to be in and out of your life they want to go let them fucking go if they come back they're coming back for a reason believe me when i tell you (laughs) they, they always come back they always fucking come back Um, so don't be pressed about it. Um, but whatever it is, again, I have fire energy coming out again and Sagittarius energy, but this person is very skillful. So maybe they have a lot of talents or they're very resourceful or they're like very smart type of person. Like basically is like, Hey, you give them a task, they could fucking do anything or they can figure it out and get it done. Okay. But whatever this energy is, it's like this person is open-minded and you know maybe really adventurous and they like taking risks and they probably a little bit blunt so maybe a little bit of an asshole type of energy you know and it's not terrible it's not bad to be honest it's just be a little more tactful in your honesty <laughs> because whatever it is this person there's a divine contract that needs to be fulfilled and i feel like this is the uh, the outside person the person outside of the relationship because maybe the person you're with is treats you shitty or the other person is like they're trying to hold on to you very desperately okay but whatever it is is you're being watched so maybe somebody has a fake social media or they have some shit on your phone or a fucking gps tracker or god knows what because technology is fucking ridiculous but there's somebody that is watching you okay so they're keeping an eye on you maybe if you're on social media they just watch what you post but whatever it is just be fully aware of this but they're asking you to stand in your power okay find the strength to move forward excuse me because there there's um you have to refocus all right whatever energy you've been in whatever it was you were giving your energy to or whatever you were allowing to consume you from the past because it seemed uh, i don't want to go back to that energy so i'd rather not but whatever it was that happened before that you were holding on to, it's, it's important to let this go, okay? Because that's, it's only going to hinder your path and your growth. And there's some type of stubbornness. So if you've been, um, if you've been dead set on something or anti-something or like everything needs to go in a certain way, you know, shift your focus a little bit, shift your perspective because that's the only way you're going to be able to find another outcome. It's the only way you're going to be like, okay, you know what? It's not working this way, so maybe if I adjust here, it'll work out better that way, okay? So that's all it is, is sometimes you make little tweaks, little adjustments, and things have a better way of working out. But if you stay stuck in the, no, it has to happen this way, or it has to happen with this person at this time, like, you're setting yourself up for failure. It's hard for things to happen the way that you want them to happen because we only control ourselves. We do not control other people or how everything else functions. There is a fucking plan apparently at work here. There is a whole plan for this contract, this relationship to be fulfilled. So it's not about you and how you want it. It's about when spirit says it's time and when it's gonna happen because divine timing came out. So when spirit says it's ready and that's when it's gonna happen, that's what it is so release whatever control you're trying to have release whatever stubbornness whatever it is that you're holding on to you know if you're holding on to grudges or things from the past why why it happened one at one moment literally one moment so why hold on to these moments and make it last for months years it's not worth it it's not worth the energy allow the past to be the past you don't have to interact with these people you don't have to keep having relationships or anything but don't hold on to it either. Don't maintain that. Okay. And again, fire energy is coming out. We have Aries now. So it's important for you to focus your mind. Okay. Because it's like whatever priorities you have going on, maybe you're all over the place. 
you know, maybe you're like trying to, um, like I said, that energy that was really skillful. Like they rarely like they are, they're smart. They can do a lot of shit. If you have that energy and you're that person that's like, I'm here, I'm there, I'm fucking everywhere type of energy, focus, pick something that is like, this is important. This is my priority and focus on that. Okay. Because whatever it is, like I said, it's like they're calling for some type of adapting to a situation. So the stubbornness, let go of the stubbornness. Okay. I don't know how else to say this, but if you'll know if you're dead set on something and you're like, it has to happen, like the way I'm fucking saying it's going to happen. Hi, Alori. Um, so whatever it is, you know, like you can't just go with the flow. Go with the flow of life, okay? Sometimes shit doesn't work out for us. But at the same time, that is a fucking blessing. Because who knows what the fuck happens if what it is you're working towards or what you're so dead set on happening happens. What if it's the worst fucking thing of your life because you're so dead set on this and everything just gets fucked up? You know, try to look at it that way when you encounter these delays and you encounter things that just don't really go in your favor or you get overlooked. Look at it as a blessing, okay? Because maybe there's something better coming along. Maybe it just saved your fucking life. Maybe it saved somebody else's life. Really look at these things as blessings, okay? So be okay with adapting. Be okay with tweaking and shifting a little bit because it's for the best, all right and again they keep saying release the past whatever happened in your past like i said it is the past it is not a right now it is not going to happen again like it happened and regardless of how fucking awful how terrible it was it was literally that moment you know and i catch myself at times when if i go into the the bad places where i think about the shit people have done to me and how fucked up they made me feel I'll catch myself because it's like I get those toxic negative ass emotions and I'm like, well, time out. I don't like these feelings. I'm not putting myself there because the reality is it's done and it's over with. The only reason it exists is if I choose to allow it to exist. If I choose to allow my mind to take me back there and relive that moment. And I refuse to relive those moments because yes, the pain is real. Yes, it did happen. But am I going to allow it to control me and my feelings moving forward? And the answer is no. It's It happened. And if the person and I made peace, then cool, we made peace. If we didn't make peace, then I'm okay with that too. We don't need to fucking talk. You know, but I'm not going to live in those moments for the rest of my life. It's just, okay, I'm moving forward and I'm moving how I move. You know, it is what the fuck it is. So don't let this shit hold you back because I promise you, you'll regret it. And it'll waste so much of your fucking life. But again, <laughs> so if you have any guilt in regards to whatever it is that happened, you know, sometimes we carry guilt and it's not even our guilt to carry. You know, we carry shame and it's not ours to carry, but it's because the way society makes us feel about things that we continue to carry these things because it's like, oh, no, you can't talk about this. Oh, no, you can't say that why it's my fucking story it's my life it's what happened why can't i speak about this because it makes you uncomfortable well that's something you need to work out because it doesn't make me uncomfortable i could speak about my life and my experiences and they're they're pretty shitty some of them are really shitty and i can see how people get uncomfortable when i speak about it you know and they're just like how can you speak about this and it's because i've made peace with my life I made peace with the things I've been through. I'm okay with sharing my story or helping other people understand what people go through in those predicaments and those situations and how much time and what it takes from us. Okay, so just release these things, release the shame, release the guilt because like I said, all of these are moments. They're all learning experiences. They help you to grow as a person. If you allow it to hold on to you and you allow it to consume you and you feed into the toxicity and the drugs and the sex and all of that shit, then you're allowing that to win. You're allowing your past to dictate your future. You're allowing your past to control your current moment in life. And that's not fair to you or anybody else around you. Release the past. Let it be what the fuck it was. Accept it, good or bad. Accept the shit. And don't focus on it no more. Every time that shit comes to your mind, shift to something else. And shift to something else because I promise you, after a little while, it won't be a thought anymore. You won't have those feelings. They go away. I promise you they go away. Just don't allow those thoughts to keep replaying in your head because they will fucking consume you. And I've seen firsthand what those thoughts do to people. 
and I've lost people because of the way they just get consumed. They consume by self-medicating, you know, and it's devastating to lose people that way. So let this be, okay? Make yourself your priority. Make your healing your priority. Focus on what you need to focus on to get out of this energy, okay? Because everything is cause and effect, all right? However you choose to go about your life, whatever decisions you make, there is always an effect. So if you're choosing negativity, then you're going to get negativity. If you choose positivity, then you're going to get positivity. And I, I'm not, none of this is easy. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you because none of this is fucking easy. Not even a little bit. Having to stand up to your parents, having to stand up to your fucking abusers, having to face all of this shit, having to acknowledge you have no self-love, having to acknowledge you have no self-worth. All of this shit is not fucking easy. Not even a little bit. But I promise you, once you start taking the steps and you start doing the work, you start feeling better. You start being more confident in yourself. You have no issues speaking your truth. You have no issues facing the people that did shit to you. You have no problems, okay? It, it's a process. It is a whole process. But I believe me when I tell you, if I can get through the shit I fucking been through, you can get through the shit you fucking been through. I Believe me, I promise you wholeheartedly, you can do this shit okay just choose love always choose love choose forgiveness always choose it not for the other people choose it for yourself always 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 and you will always fucking win hands down i promise um this reading was something else <laughs> i was not prepared for this today um you know but i i really hope that this helps you in some way gives you some form of clarity like really truly gives you some type of guidance you know and like i'm here i'm here if you really if you just need to talk you need to purge whatever it is i'm here um i love you guys thank you so much and i'm gonna do the masculine reading next so if you're gonna join me i'll see you in a few seconds have a good day